Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. How are we getting on? Welcome to a brand new Starfield Outpost build. So today we are working on a place to put the armillary, which we get partway through the story. And there will be light spoilers here, but I will avoid any big ones. So let's jump into this. Okay, yeah, so partway through the story, we get the opportunity to build the armillary in our outposts. There's other options as well, but for the purposes of this video. Not going to go into any more detail than that, but there are a couple of things with it. Top of the list being, it won't fit in any habs, which is a bit weird, especially given the reasons for moving it, which I will not go into. But yeah, very strange, but uh, I think we've got something quite fun here. So, got a little reminder here as to where we are in the settled systems. Pretty decent central spot. That's my ongoing outpost build. Yeah, this thing is quite fun and quite cool. I'm quite happy with the solution I've got to this, although we had a, a few bug-related issues, which some related to the millery. Sometimes uh, you can see it on the top of the structure there. It, um, it stops working, <laughs> and uh, you either have to leave and come back so it'll reload the whole thing and it'll start, or maybe add to it, and uh, that fires it up again as well sometimes. Some judicious saving is usually worthwhile there. But uh, yeah, or not, I think this looks quite fun. So my idea was, as it won't fit in any more sensible position, to put it on the top of this glass, um, supposedly, hydroponics hab, and use it as a kind of meditation space. I feel uh, the, the emulator is quite pretty and looks quite cool, and it's a, a nice kind of zen centerpiece for this kind of space. So... There we have a kind of a simple little tower just with the airlock on it and then a decent amount of decoration around it to make it look like it's incorporated into the wider outpost and it uh, looks like it's been here a while and as we'll see on the inside it's got a quite nice relaxed vibe I think. So as you may have noticed we're touring this rather than doing the actual build because for the most part it's a pretty simple one it's a single habit structure basically. Um, all the work went into placing decorations around it, which has uh, come out quite nicely. The goal, as usual, is to make this place look like it's been here a while, look pretty established, look busy rather than you know, too sterile, which uh, I think we've pulled off. We've got a whole bunch of different bits and pieces around here. Started off, as usual, with big bits, the generator there, all the, the storage containers and the, uh, the windmill generator there as well. And then added the smaller bits in the gaps as well and sort of dressed it up that way. Sort of start big, work your way down to the small stuff. Works quite nicely. To get some of these storage containers in, they did want to snap a little aggressively. So I was kind of forced to eyeball it a bit further out so that I could place one down and then snap a second storage container to the first one so that it sat next to the wall and also, well, the foundation rather, and also the other containers and then take the initial one out, which bypassed the aggressive snapping issue that is a bit of an ongoing problem with Starfield. Hopefully uh, subsequent updates in the new year will fix some of those issues, along with a couple of others, but, you know. Um, those to have recently stated their commitment to ongoing improvements and tweaks and adjustments and responding to player feedback, which uh, is usually the way they go, so definitely looking forward to seeing what they've got for us in next year. But yeah, lots and lots of little bits of detail and just stuff scattered around. Not done any junk decoration yet, um, as with the rest of this outpost, I will do it later on. Uh, there's going to be somewhat limited uh, amounts of it, I suspect, as I'm about two-thirds-ish of the way through the build budget now, which um, goes to show that you can build a lot. Variety is a bit of a challenge at the moment, it's one of the slight gripes with the system as is, but I imagine that will be steadily improved both by uh, updates and subsequent DLC and by uh, mods when the official support for that comes as well. Uh, if you are an Xbox player watching this, by the way, and you're wondering about mods, um, yes, eventually I will use mods. My plan is to use mods that are available on both console and PC only, though, so um, I won't be shutting you out, as this is a PC build. So, yeah, hopefully everybody should be able to take advantage if I can uh, pull that off the way I'd like to. I've got my landing pad in the background there, and a uh, little glimpse at the rest of the camp as well. Turret up top. We'll head on the inside and have a look at our little zen space, which I do quite like in here. And voila! 
We'll take a little look at this place in the evening in a bit as well, because it looks really pretty, really cool. But uh, easier to see it in the daylight in some ways, so uh, nice to do that. Used a few things that I haven't really used too much before here, specifically those pedestals with uh, these meteorite pieces. There's four or five different, three or four maybe, different uh, options for those pedestals um, with different toppings on them, and uh, they they look quite cool. I particularly like the the meteorite ones. Um, there are some that are shorter as well, but I've just stuck to the same equal height ones. There's the Millery up top there, looking really quite stunning. It's a very very pretty thing to look at. And uh, obviously we've spaced it in with some of the, the strange, wacky and wonderful statues that we have available. And uh, they get a few nice kind of beds just to kind of relax and meditate on sort of thing. Or mats on the floor if that's more your speed. But uh, it'd be a nice place to just kind of chill and look up through the glass ceiling at the millery on the roof. Which, uh, as I say, I had to put up there because, um, well, it doesn't fit anywhere else. I, mean, I could put it on the ground, but... That just seems a bit odd. Uh, it just doesn't feel right to just have it stuffed in <laughs> the corner somewhere, you know? Something like that. It's a bit too special for that. So, yeah. And uh, it looks quite nice up here. We've got a, a bit of a head cannon for it. I did have a couple of small issues with building this. That, um, I say small issues. that required me to start the whole structure over about three or four times, actually. Because... Um, I think because this outpost is getting really quite large and detailed now, the game is maybe struggling a little bit. This used to happen with Fallout 4 as well, so, you know. In this case, it was, um, I had the wall that has been replaced by attaching the airlock to it, um, transformed back into its basic form, and therefore I had glass in the way of the airlock and couldn't get out. That was um, definitely not ideal. Um, I had the foundation disappear, it was a problem we had elsewhere. Fortunately, I caught it this time and was able to go back, but uh, nonetheless, once the foundation had vanished, it was because I placed things too close to the bottom of the foundation and they started to clip in a little bit, and apparently that deleted the whole foundation. Really weird, interesting, potentially workable, you might be able to use it, but uh, not ideal and not what I wanted for this, so uh, yeah, I had to start over there. That happened to me a couple of times as well. It was uh, not ideal, but we got there in the end, and uh, I'm pretty chuffed with the result. Let's have a, a little wander downstairs and a quick glance at the rest of the outpost. See what that massive gap of space over on this side that I have yet to fill. I've got an idea for one structure that might go in there, and I need to come up with an idea for another. Because we've got a, a medical space over there, some crew quarters, we've got my living space and crafting space, the landing pad, and now the uh, the Zen space. And uh, need something else as well, just to fill up the gap. Because, yeah, the budget is pretty awesome on this. There we go. So... Let's flip over and have a look at this in the evening so you can get a little vibe for what it looks like at night because it's really quite pretty. And there we go. Cool. I'm quite happy with how this looks. So, I hope you folks did enjoy this one. I hope you're having a good holiday season as well if you're watching as we go live. Going to be back in the new year with more builds, more Fallout stuff as well, and a whole ton of new stuff. So make sure you hit that notification bell, drop likes, subs, and all that good stuff if you want to catch the new content coming next year, which should be really cool. 2024 has got some fun stuff lined up, so... Do join us for that and the live streams as well. But for now, thank you very much for watching, and I look forward to speaking to you all very, very soon.